when we take time to liberate our inner child. Our inner child liberates us. <laughs> our inner child liberates us into the power of the now. Our inner child liberates us into the joy of our being. Our inner child liberates us into the delicious expanse of the miracles of every moment. Our inner child liberates us into the safe haven of our heart space, the sanctuary of our soul. When we take time to liberate our inner child, our inner child liberates us. When we take time to liberate our inner child, there is so much space inside of our being for loving all that we are. There is so much space inside of our being for enjoying all that we are. There is so much space inside of our heart to connect with others without fear, without agenda, without demands or expectations. When we take time to liberate our inner child, every day becomes new. Every day is the best day of our life. Every day is the first day of the rest of our life. Every day is the only day existing. When we take time to liberate our inner child, our inner child liberates us. When we take time to liberate our inner child, the world becomes beautiful and feels safe to live in. The world becomes a beautiful playground that we get to experience in new ways every day. The world becomes an expansive space of infinite opportunities, infinite potentiality. When we take time to liberate our inner child, the newness of each day invites us to write a brand new page in the book of our lives that has no relationship with the other pages. Until we liberate our inner child, each page is just a continuation of all the other pages. And if those other pages have been painful, then the page we write today is painful too. But when we liberate our inner child, then the page that we write in each day is brand new and doesn't need to carry the energies of the other days. When we take time to liberate our inner child, our inner child liberates us. When we take time to liberate our inner child, the details of our everyday experience become so extravagantly beautiful. The things that we've seen a million times become new. The things that we take for used to take for granted become these treasures that expand our heart. Everything that we have seen a million times becomes a brand new experience when we liberate our inner child. When we take time to liberate our inner child, our inner child liberates us. Liberates us from our boredom, liberates us from our lack of inspiration, liberates us from the dreaded monotony of the misery of our everyday experience, liberates us from the, uh, the, the repetitive motions of our lives where we're just going through the motions. We're just doing the same things and experiencing the same things day in and day out. When we take time to liberate our inner child, every day is new. Every moment is new. Everything is beautiful. When we take time to liberate our inner child, all of the judgments drop. All of the judgments towards ourselves, towards other people, towards our inner beings, towards our outer beings, towards our internal realities, towards our external realities, towards ourselves, towards our others, towards our personal world and the world at large, all of the judgments dissolve. And there's so much space for so many perspectives. And then we have this opportunity to choose a perspective that feels good because there's infinite perspectives that we have access to. When we take time to liberate our inner child, all the judgments dissolve and everything has so many different ways of being perceived and experienced. There's not this one automated perception and one automated reaction and one automated experience like there was before. When we take time to liberate our inner child, we expand the choice of our being. 
because until we liberate our inner child, 80% of decision making is coming from our unconscious realms based on memories. But when we liberate our inner child, we transform that experience and actually have more neurological capacity, neurocognitive capacity to make conscious choices. (laughs) When we liberate our inner child, we appreciate the depth of the manner in which we feel. Until we liberate our inner child, emotions feel overwhelming or we judge them or we restrict them or we limit them or we drown in them. But when we liberate our inner child, we feel things so deeply and we move through and transmute the energy. It doesn't get stuck. When we liberate our inner child, energy never gets stuck inside of us. It's always moving. Everything within us becomes fluid, moving motion. We are energy in motion. When we liberate our inner child, the depth of our compassion for others expands. And the depth for compassion for ourselves expands. And so we can have so much space for other people, but we also don't suffer compassion fatigue because we have compassion for ourselves and that's where the compassion for others stems from when we liberate our inner child there's a deeper appreciation for the little things in life when we liberate our inner child there's more space for authentic expression in a way that feels so satisfying when we liberate our inner child Our inner child liberates us, liberates us into the expansive wonders of our being, liberates us into the newness of each moment of every day, liberates us into the infinite potentialities of all that we are, liberates us into infinite gratitude, peace, joy, love, and fulfillment like never before. When we liberate our inner child, our entire universe expands. Our consciousness expands, our experience expands. When we liberate our inner child, our self-appreciation and appreciation for all of life expands, grows, develops, evolves, transforms, becomes empowered. When we liberate our inner child, all the stories dissolve. And from that space, any story can be written. Allow today to be the first day of the rest of your life. Reclaim the pen of your life storybook by befriending the miraculous consciousness that carries you. And at the core of your consciousness is your inner child. Join me in April for inner child liberation. Join me in April 2020 for personal power reclamation. Join me in April 2020 to rise up into the love being that you innately are. I'll be offering 22 insanely (laughs) affordable group coaching sessions Monday through Friday, every day, every weekday in April, we're going to be sharing these group coaching sessions for just $30 a session. Never, ever, 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 ever has there ever been such affordable group coaching. Never will I offer such affordable group coaching again. Never again will there be such such an opportunity as this. <laughs> Seize the day, my friends. Seize the day. Every day of the week will have a different theme from personal power reclamation to befriending our inner child to cultivating deeper self-love, all sorts of stuff. Um, and if you ever want to do one-on-one group coach or one-on-one coaching, sorry, um, that is where we have the most the most expansive, productive healing journey transformation, just complete transformation in our one-on-one sessions. Um, Our soul friends have been so satisfied with our sessions, which brings our hearts such joy to share the hope revolution that has ignited within us. Um, So we got group coaching, we got one-on-one coaching, we've got our Patreon, we've got our workshop coming up on April 18th, we've got our free content, we've got so many magic. So please do explore that. We want our hope revolution to spread like wildfire. We love you, we believe in you, and we will see you soon. Oh, and our free support group too on Wednesday evenings. So many magics! We'll see you there. (laughs) We love you.